Hey, it's Shelly from Best Buy Canada's blog, and this past week I've been testing out the Zoji Rushi Indoor Electric Grill. This indoor electric grill is just as it sounds. It's a grill that you use indoors. To me, it's very similar to a barbecue because unlike the panini press that I use inside to occasionally grill hamburgers or, um, you know, even bacon once in a while, this grill has a drip tray. So all of the liquid that comes off of the meat actually drips down into this tray. And that means that you're not frying your food in a pile of grease. It is packaged in four parts. So there's the base, the plastic base, the drip tray. This is the plug-in. You can turn that dial and you can set precise heat. You don't have to just go low, medium and high. The griddle itself is where the element is located. And that's why this griddle can actually achieve really, really high heat. Flipping it over, you can take a look at the heating element and see how it is built in there. Um, that does achieve high heat it does um, sear and everything just like a barbecue the only downside is that you can't this isn't dishwasher safe you can't throw that in the dishwasher and it's a little difficult to clean but I'll talk about that in a bit so to test it out I made all sorts of different things and here's the chicken that I was searing It's quite a few different chicken breasts. It's not exactly a small grill. It's more of a mid-sized grill. So it's definitely big enough for a family, but if you were a solo cook, it works for that too. I was so impressed with the high heat on this grill. Look at those sear marks. They It sears just like the barbecue. There's no grease or anything to um, have the chicken sit in. It just drips right below. And I, although I thought because of that lack of grease, I thought it would be a really dry chicken. It actually wasn't. It was really, really good. Cooked up a little bit of flank steak for a Philly cheesesteak sandwich and it did the job really quickly. As you can see I used some barbecue sauce on here so it did kind of line the grill a little bit um, but that was fairly easy to wipe off although I did automatically switch to cooking burgers for my son and when I did that I, I didn't clean the grill in between so you can see here between the flank steak and the burgers it's actually getting really um, congealed on the griddle. It does cook up everything great though I had no issues with it at all I love the adjustable heat so you can micromanage how hot it is um, the only thing I had a hard time with was cleaning it so you can see here I've already peeled off a lot of the debris that was stuck on the grill um, I just used a plastic scraper to do that because obviously you don't want to scrape a nonstick surface but once I did that um, the drip tray we can go in the sink or the dishwasher um, and the griddle I just had to keep flipping it back and forth over and over to keep on removing the tiny little pieces of debris that would be stuck in the holes. The Zoji Rushi Indoor Electric Grill is really easy to use. As I mentioned, it has um, very precise heat, although the highest temperature that it is supposed to be able to hit is about 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I took a scanner, a heat gun, and I tested different parts of the grill while it was on high, and I managed to hit 520 in most areas. So this grill gets really, really hot. There wasn't any grease splatter on my counters and there was no excess smoke from grease splatter in the kitchen and overall it was just a very easy to use fun small appliance. I really like being able to grill inside especially when it's cold outside and I don't want to use my barbecue so I really enjoyed using the Zoji Rushi Indoor Electric Grill. You can see my full written review as well as other photos of this grill on Best Buy Canada's blog. Thanks for watching.